Traditional Review S. Did John see a woman sitting on water? Many waters. Revelation 17 1. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Revelation 17, 1. Next. Does a woman represent a church in Bible prophecy? Comely. Jeremiah 6, 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Jeremiah 6, 2 Next, is the woman a great city? That great city. Revelation 17, 18 And the woman is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Revelation 17, 18. Next. What is written on the woman's forehead? The mother. Revelation 17, 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Revelation 17, 5. Now let's review these verses with the ones you've already learned about getting ready. After the thousand years, what will happen to the unrighteous after they are resurrected on this earth? Devoured them. Revelation 29. And they went up on the breadth of the earth encompassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city, and fire came down from God out of heaven, and devoured them. Revelation 29 Next, what is the fire and final death called? Second death. Revelation 20, 14, and 15.
and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found, written in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 20, 14, and 15. Next, who was the fire prepared for? So we know the devil is not in charge of it. Prepared for the devil. Matthew 25, 41. Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Matthew 25, 41. Next. How long was forever for a servant that loved his master? Ear. Exodus. 21, 6. His master shall bore his ear through with an all, and he shall serve him forever. Exodus 21, 6. Next. How long was forever for Samuel? As long. First Samuel 1, 22 and 28. And there abide forever, as long as he liveth. First Samuel 1, 22 and 28. Next. How long was forever for Jonah? Bars. Jonah 2, 6. The earth with her bars was about me forever. Jonah 2, 6. Next. What does the Bible say eternal fire is? Sodom and Gomorrah. Jude 1, 7. even as Sodom and Gomorrah, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Jude 1, 7. Next. What is a soul, breath of life? Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Genesis 
two, seven. Next. Does a soul that has sinned die? It shall die. Ezekiel 18, 4. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Ezekiel 18, 4. Next. Can a soul be destroyed in hell? Soul and body. Matthew ten twenty eight. Fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Matthew 10, 28. Next. Are fish also considered souls that can die in the sea? Revelation 16, 3. And every living soul died in the sea. Revelation 16, 3. Next. Is speaking in tongues a known language? Own language. Acts 2, 6. Every man heard them speak in his own language. Acts 2, 6. Next. Should everyone be speaking in tongues, since not all are given the gift of tongues, to another? First Corinthians 12, 10. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. 1 Corinthians 12.10 Next. What is the first part of the third angel's message? Third angel. Revelation 14, 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Revelation 14, 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Revelation 14, 9. Next. What is the second part 
of the third angel's message, tormented. Revelation 14.10 The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Revelation 14.10 Next, what is the third part of the third angel's message? The smoke. Revelation fourteen eleven. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Revelation fourteen eleven. Next, does the beast rise out of water and have horns out of the sea? Revelation 13, 1. And I saw a beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Revelation 13, 1 Next, do horns in Bible prophecy represent kings? Ten kings. Daniel 7.24 And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall arise. Daniel 7.24 Next, did John see a woman sitting on water? Many waters. Revelation 17.1 I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Revelation 17, 1 Next, does a woman represent a church in Bible prophecy? Comely. Revelation 
Jeremiah 6, 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Jeremiah 6, 2 Next, is the woman a great city? That great city. Revelation 17, 18 And the woman is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Revelation 17, 18 Next, what is written on the woman's forehead, the mother? Revelation 17, 5 And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Revelation 17, 5. Our review is finished. May the God of all wisdom grant you much understanding.